I got a call in what seems like the week before the film festival in Macon. <laughs> and it was where Karen Black was being honored and they had decided to show Firecracker and they wanted me to come and present it with her. And uh, I didn't think, I didn't ex have any expectations because I've been to film festivals before and you just go and you do the stuff and then you go home. And, and when I got to Macon, the way that it felt just in the air and just the ground and just sort of, I mean, I really can't explain how it felt, but it was magic. Of course, we came to Macon for the festival. And that was a glorious festival, the nicest festival I've ever been to. And then everyone fell in love with Steve Balderson and wanted to make his movie. And this movie has been made by Macon. Making a movie in Macon has been extraordinary, I think, for all of us. I mean, it's really unprecedented in, in, in my experience. I've worked on a lot of independent movies. But to come to a town where there's a, you know, a core of people in that town who, have, who, who I, are investors and participants uh, in this movie, you know, they're all equal players. Everybody's playing a part in getting this movie made. I feel like every single person in Macon is involved in this project because everybody I've met in one way or another is either involved in it or the parent of somebody that's involved in it or the child of somebody who's involved in it. And it's been really amazing that the whole city seems to have come together to make this project a happy experience for everybody involved. I mean, Steve called me and said, we're, you know, we're going to this great, great town in Georgia. It's called Macon. I went, oh, I know Macon. My parents happen to live in Macon, Georgia. So I had a little bit of an advantage knowing what an incredible city it was. When I first was told that I was going to be staying in somebody's house, I was mildly apprehensive because there's, a, you know, you don't have the same privacy that you do in a hotel. I mean, there's certain things that are like, uh-oh. I mean, there's a, there's a bit of an apprehension. Every one of us who has been staying in a home has been so welcomed. You know, you never felt out of place or... I mean, Steve and I were actually talking about this the other day. I was like, I, I know I've only been here for, I think, two weeks, but I, I feel weird. Like, I've lived here my whole life or something. Like, I feel like I've known these people for forever. Everyone has been so super fantastic in town. Macon has such a, a big, like, vibrant cultural scene. It seems like the discussions I've had with people since I've been here and everyone's interest in the movie, as well as their outside interests, like film companies and art galleries and bands and museums and it's just been absolutely fascinating. So I've really felt really well, well stimulated and well taken care of. I think that there's um, a misconception that you have to live in sort of a larger city and the theaters have to be oh so well known, but to tap into the talent that's here in Macon, Georgia is extraordinary. The, the, the productions that they put on are at such a solid level that when Steve did pluck, you know, these people to come and do, and do this, it's, you're working with pros. It's really, it's surprising. Like, wow, oh God, I got a focus mark in that. <laughs> the sun of guard be outshining me. <laughs> I just, I love the way everybody talks. <laughs> I love, I just love hearing different accents. But um, the accent that I'm hearing in Macon is just very um, it's soft, and it just it just feels like it feels like it makes my skin better. <laughs> it's really nice to experience the local cuisine, the local people, the just even just see the architecture and see the inside of buildings because I'm a big fan of of architecture and old houses. So I, I've been loving it. This town is so beautiful. Macon is so gorgeous. I'm. I'm like, I'm gonna live there, I'm gonna live there, I'm gonna live there, I'm gonna buy that house. <laughs> it's, so, it's so gorgeous, like the moon at night and the, through the trees and the fireflies. It's just refreshing and, and lovely and you know, it's just a, nothing better than a nice southern evening outside with some beautiful food and, and, and people. And it's really, you know, added a nice quality to the experience. There's such a sense of history almost mysticism that comes along with Macon. So there's like a, a, a lapse in time, this beautiful lapse in time where it could be anywhere. 
You could be in some sort of quaint European city. You could be in the old, you know, South. It's, it's just amazing. I can understand why so many filmmakers are kind of, you know, chomping at the bit to come and shoot here more. I feel like this is a place that, you know, I definitely will come back to. I, I feel like, you know, I've met a lot of people I really enjoy here. Everybody seems to me to be sort of like family. I feel really comfortable. It's, it's kind of uncanny but it's there. You know, the Macon, Georgia that I have seen has been sprinkled with stardust since I got here because of everybody's, you know, the, the overwhelming kindness that we've all received here. You know, the film is why we're here. It is the, the thing that has brought us together. But it's almost as though we made the film in order to experience Macon, Georgia.